I like this uh, ship skin that I have for my Raven. It, I don't think it was that expensive, but it's just like a sweet red skin. Uh, not like the football team, but like a skin that is red. <laughs> um, I don't really remember how I got it, to be honest. I think you just spent ISK. I don't think I spent like cash on it or anything. No, they got. <laughs> they changed their name. They are now just the Washington football team because the name is to be determined. <laughs> Although, I guess I could steal the name because it's now available. Ha! Huh. <laughs> ah. Yes, the joke. Over my head it did. Go. Uh, yeah, so I guess, Donnie, if you're interested, I'll show you my fitting. Um, cargo hold. What? Oh, my cargo hold is pretty full. Uh, yeah, this is my fitting. So I have six Arbalest Cruise Launcher 1s, uh, a Drone Link Augmenter, because. Uh, how many drones do I have? Oh, I have. Right, you can see it over here. Oh, I have three Hammerhead 2s. And then a whole bunch of salvage drones. Uh, currently, I'm using Scourge missile launch, uh, Scourge cruise missiles. Drive <coughs> uh, and I mean, wait, well, why did my? Oh, I guess my DPS is a little lower because as I was trying to increase my capacitor, I outfitted this power. No. Capacitor Power Relay 2, which just straight up gives an increased recharge rate to the capacitor. Um, and despite that and my power diagnosis system, if you see up here, it says, well, basically, if I have all my modules active at once, it's going to deplete in a minute 55, which is just horrendous. Uh, but even adding some simple, I mean, adding these modules, these low slots, only improved that by like a couple minutes. Uh, I don't know, it's probably these low slots that are taking a lot of that power. It could also be, well, I don't really know a good way to tell which one of these uses the most power. I guess you have to look at activation cost, right? So, I forget where it says that. Let me see. Activation cost 376 gigajoules. <laughs> and my ship has 6,930 gigajoules capacity and recharges 639 per second. So then, the only other active modules I have are these shield hardeners, which are 40 gigajoules. So I guess what you'd have to do is, this Docking one's 376, request. and then you add 40 and 40, and then the afterburner, which is... A hundred and forty-seven, uh, and then these two shield extenders are passive. So, uh, what is that math? Eighty plus three seventy-six, four sixty something, and then that's like just over six hundred. I thought these missile uh, cruise missile launcher had a activation cost. Do they not? Not sure. Uh, 
Well, anyways, I'm going to keep this power diagnostic system on. Or, sorry, the capacitor power relay. I did bring my ballistic control system with me. I apparently have two of them. <laughs> Beat me? What do you mean? Are you... Are you are you in Eve as well right now? Are you are you coming to me? <laughs> are you stream sniping me? <laughs> uh, who was the person that I requested the mission from? I think it was this one. Uh, you're here. What's your What's your name? Hey, right, well, don't don't snipe me, bro. I see you. What the heck is with your bio? <laughs> I can't believe you got here that quick. I guess you must have already been close by. Oh, yeah, thanks. Yeah, um, when I used to play Eve, uh, I um, didn't do a whole lot of security missions. Uh, so, unfortunately, I mean, I have this awesome ship, but I can only do tech, uh, Tier 3 encounters. So, the ship's a bit overkill for those. Uh, they're still fun, though. version in Echoes as well. Uh, I just never did it when I was playing Echoes. I wish I could... I wish it didn't show all the past modules. But I guess they probably put them there because you're able to... you're able to power off any passive module that you want. Uh, which could theoretically give you some bonuses to capacitor but then you can't put them back online once you've turned them off alright well shit I warped really close to everyone uh alright I need to orbit really far away right now uh I am gonna launch my hammerheads because my cruise missiles are not going to be able to target these guys effectively. Yeah, I'm already taking a beating. My drones are already fighting, which is nice. <laughs> Unlike Eve Echoes, they don't necessarily need you to target things. 
Alright, what can I shoot here first? Let's do... Let's just try to shoot these things, even though they're pretty close to me. Alright, I need to turn on my afterburner. I am taking a good amount of damage. Uh, my shield booster is really good. <laughs> yeah, I really should have... Uh, I forgot about, like, boosting to... or warping to a certain distance. Because I can effectively fight at, like... Uh, I don't know how many, it's like 150 kilometers. <sighs> well, it turns out my cruise missiles can hit these guys even though they're pretty close to me. Uh, I'm gonna use a cat booster. I do like in Echoes how much easier it is to target people. Like, there's a target all nearby ships option. Really wish I didn't have to burn through my, well, afterburner right now. I am putting some good distance on them. I think I can turn my afterburner off for now. There goes another cap booster. I can reload it though. I think I have four more. Because they are very expensive. A module has run out of charges. Fortunately, this ship is a bit of a beast, and I do have a lot of good passive modules. So I still have lots of shields left. Uh, Alright, let's just blow this one up, I guess. Afterburner on, and I can just use 
cat boosters. Trying to put some more distance between us and them. drones, but they're not the most expensive thing. Basically, well, years ago. <laughs> now, there's only three of them left. I'm gonna put three missiles on each, and I'm gonna turn the afterburner off, actually. And in case I get <coughs> ganked, I want full shields. I'm gonna turn my shield booster on. Sure, I'm just gonna approach him. <laughs> I forget how to do the manual steering. Uh, oh, right, I think this is it. The first person camera. And you can pitch up, down. Oh, it's pretty slow to react. <laughs> oh, I never really used this before. It's pretty cool, though, that you can do that. I don't believe um, Echo's had something like that. <laughs> uh, so we could loot them. Yeah, why not? I saw my salvage drones. I could launch those. Kind of forget how these work. I think I need to loot the thing first. Oh yeah, here's the salvage button. So I think I could just do this. Tell my drones to go salvage this. And they will move much faster than I can. Are they still salvaging? Is that what they're doing? Yeah, 
Yeah, I guess so. But they are leaving behind an empty cargo container so it doesn't just waste it, okay. One good thing to note that, well, what was the name of it? The Canway, uh, the the new Chinese destroyer ship, or the battle cruiser that was really overpowered in the beta. Uh, even with uh, a pretty good afterburner, it was still only moving about as fast as I am now, about 330 meters per second, which means that as long as I'm not inside of their range, uh, I mean, this ship will easily be able to outrun it and shoot it from distance, so, I mean, the ship was pretty overpowered, but I guess nobody really had any battleships, there weren't many people who were in Tier 9 ships, nobody in Ravens for sure, uh, so the Kenway definitely does have its weakness. I don't really need to loot these things. I do I do have a lot of money, but might as well loot some of them and while my salvage drones are still salvaging. And I'm not entirely sure what them salvaging gives me. Probably like these scraps. Oh yeah. <coughs> scraps and these uh <coughs> charred circuits, fried interfaces, these are used for various industry crafting stuff. Right. That's the same in Echoes. With this. Okay. Oh, I got a hobgoblin from this. Nice. Once my salvage drones are done, I will leave, regardless if I've looted all these wrecks, because there are a lot of them. Or if my cargo hold fills up. I'm getting a lot of these circuits and scraps, it's pretty good. Man, if I had warped in, if I had warped in on that fight, 150 kilometers out, that's the range of my missiles, 156, I would have been in a much better position. I don't think, I wouldn't have needed to use my afterburner or any of those cap boosters, so that was a mistake on my part. Uh, I should have done the warp 2 instead of just, well, the manual warp 2 instead of the encounter. I need the damsel. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, oh, you know what? I think I have to loot one of these buildings for this damsel. <laughs> the da this is the dam. Oh, I'm like rescuing a damsel in distress for this mission. But I just like how if I mouse over it, it says show livestock info. I mean, I guess, but you know, she's a person. Uh, well, where where would she be? I don't really know. In one of these structures. I can read the details of the mission. <coughs> it's called Cruel's Pleasure Hub. Okay. This thing. Do I gotta blow it up? Maybe I have to blow it up.
Yeah, if I fail the mission, we'll see. So let's just fire the missiles. Okay, I blew it up. Salvage drones go. Oh, they salvage that. Where are they going now? <coughs> Up here. These salvage drones are awesome. If I was an industry person, I mean, these metal scraps and circuits would be pretty damn useful. <laughs> Apparently, I could sell everything in my inventory for 12 million. Wow. Alright, we're almost at these cargo containers. Ah, there she is. Any other loot? Ten Marines. Okay, um, let's return my drones. Return to drone bay. Here they come. The ship will stop. Don't hit the thing. And once all my drones are back, I will... Zoom away. Alright, there they go, they're in. Let's go. Warp drive active. My afterburner is still on, we can turn that off safely. The ship takes a long time to warp. Very slow. First person looks like. Yeah, that would have I expected. This is also a cool view, the tactical view, which shows everything from really far away and like a how far everything is. Uh, I did not see that in Echoes, as well as. Directional scanner I did not see in Echoes. And that's a pretty cool feature, so I really hope they added it at some point. Alright, let's go back to orbit view. Uh, Alright, warp back to the station. Warp drive active. This is the solar system map. Right, here's the station that we're talking about. Docking talking permission at. requested. Docking request accepted. Alright, I'll complete this mission. Get some money. And... Don't really need money, but I guess I'm more interested in the loyalty points because I'd really like to be able to do level 4 missions. Kaldari Navy. Uh, the missions in EVE Echoes does work a good amount different. Normally in EVE Online you have these mission agents uh, that you can look through uh, right here. And E3 
Steve Echoes does have something very similar. Uh, I, I forget what it called it. They were basically like these encounters. Not these encounters, not like the incursion and stuff like that, but they're kind of like a little more generic missions, but they do still have a good variety in them. Um, and I didn't really see anything like loyalty points. I think you can kind of do like any mission at any time, but if you try to do an end game one in a frigate, you're going to have a bad time. Uh, all right, well, hold on. I want to talk to this guy. Do I have the same standing with both of these guys? I do. Let's do this mission. Maybe I'll be smart and warp really far away so I don't get absolutely destroyed. Alright. Uh, oh, it's in this system. Do I have a way to... I don't know if I have a way to do... Uh... If you're there, maybe you know if I am able to warp to an encounter within a certain distance. Uh, because you definitely could in Echoes, but I just don't know if I can in this. Um, see, it's it's in dead space. I don't have a, a warp location on the right. Uh... Yeah, I don't have a warp location on the right-hand side of my screen since it's in dead space. <laughs> uh... It just, it doesn't tell me where I need to look, though, is the thing. I mean, obviously, I have this warp location on the left. How do I look for beacons? Oh, hey, there you are. <laughs> What's up? Nice carousel. Uh, yeah, I don't see a beacon, but here, uh, want to join my fleet? How do I invite you a fleet? Uh, form fleet with. Here, join me. You can warp with me and we can fight together. <laughs> okay, uh, I don't think I can, like, warp the fleet there, so you can just warp to me, I guess, once I get there. Because I know I'm going to get kind of smashed. I'm going to be within, like, 2,000 meters of them, and it's going to suck. <laughs> now, this is a Tier 3, by the way. Um, the carousel is a cruiser, right? It's not a battle cruiser. Pretty sure. Oh, maybe, oh, maybe it was this thing right here, this blue thing, if I had looked around for that, maybe I could have done warp two, I guess this is the beacon you're talking about, well, I'm not done warping yet, but you'll, you'll end up like halfway or something. <laughs> oh, thank god, there's a, <coughs> a jump gate. So we can just do this. Uh, yeah, okay, so there was a beacon. Shit. Alright. Well, I'll wait for you. I suppose. Wherever you are. Okay. Seven ass units out. Got it. All right. Uh, I am 
Activating the gate. Warp drive active. <laughs> oh yeah, I mean, I'm sure I could solo this thing myself, but just don't get yourself blown up. Uh, yeah, just be careful. Looks like it's going to be nice and warp me really far away from everyone. So that's nice. Oh, I'm already taking damage. All right. Uh... Better start blasting. Uh, you're gonna come with us too? Nice. <laughs> I don't exactly know how to orbit distances further than 30 kilometers. I'm sure there's a way to do it. But you know what? I'm gonna take out these sentry guns. They seem to be doing a lot of da lot more damage than the other ships. <laughs> yeah, definitely gonna do that. I haven't even activated my shield booster. I'm just using my uh, <laughs> shield hardeners, which are pretty good. All right, that's one of them down. This pithy destructor is getting pretty close though. Can you target that? All right, sentry guns are down. Uh, you've got the destructor. I'll start shooting at the other far away guys. You know what, I'm gonna deactivate shield hardeners and activate my shield booster to regen some of that. What kind of missiles do you have on your carousel? These guys are mostly destroyers. It's just tier three. Wait, there's another sentry gun? Oh, yeah, they're like really far away. Uh, I'm gonna try to take out the really far away sentry guns if you can try to hit the closer ones. Like the actual ships. Activate my shield booster now. No need for the afterburner. Let's take a look at that tactical view. Okay, so you can see all the different targets there. Where's Donnie? There's Donnie in the purple. Now, honestly, this view is a little better for these sorts of fights. A module has run out of charges. <laughs> Yep, I have to reload. Look at these guys going above me. How close are they? They're like 50 kilometers out. Oh, I should probably take them out. They're going to start doing more damage to the sentries. 
once I finish locking, I'll start blasting them. A module has run out of charges. Yeah, that missile's out. Luckily, I almost want to hit these guys. Targeting range is apparently a hundred kilometers, and my, 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 my missiles can hit at 150. So that means I need to work on. Yeah, yeah. Go, go ahead. You can come back. Whatever. Uh, I guess I gotta improve one of those skills. You know what? I'm gonna. Activate the afterburner, try to get closer. these guys are using. What are these Garistas? I mean, I know pirates usually use one type of weapon. Alright, I am now in range of this guy. You know what, let's actually approach this guy. I guess I could have been blasting at these while I'm waiting. Uh, what am I doing? Um, I mean, there probably is. If you know you're going to be fighting one specific type of pirate, you can look up. Uh, pirates will generally, uh, like, they'll be like shield tanks or armor tanks only, and then they'll use some type of weapon, like anti-shield missile or uh, anti-armor missile or something like that. So depending on the type of pirate you're fighting, you really want to specialize uh, your your weapons, if if your weapons can. <clears throat> okay, that one's dead. I'm gonna start firing missiles at this guy. I can almost start shooting missiles at the other sentry. And I'm gonna turn on my shield booster. My capacitor has run out. <laughs> Good timing. <laughs> that was a cool explosion. Uh, well, Donnie, if you wanted to do any looting, you could. I mean, I don't know. I guess because of how close Echoes is, I don't really care too much about the loot, but I'll do a little salvaging. targets around here. What the heck? I'm just going to have them auto salvage. <laughs> okay, I'll just loot like one ship then. Uh, then, wait, I need to destroy this, oh, I have to destroy this space telescope thing in the middle here. I forgot, uh, I forgot about the actual mission. 
<laughs> if you want to help blast it, you can. Looks like it's got a lot of health. So what kind of missiles are you using? Are those, like, uh, those aren't torpedoes, are they? I mean, are they just like medium missiles or like fast missiles? lost one of my drones. What the hell happened? Oh, one of them was in my drone base still. Okay. Ah, hurry up and die. Take this. One more salvo, maybe. That should do it. I'm gonna I'm gonna head back and talk. Warp drive active. Yeah, they were cool. <laughs> the visual has really improved a lot since I last played this game. It must have been 2016, the last time I played. Um, and then, I mean, I started this character in 2013. I can't believe this game is 17 years old. Yeah, that's crazy. And they never released any, like, no, no paid expansions, no paid DLC. Like, wow. I wonder if it has more active players in WoW. I mean, the game has like 30,000 players. 2018. <laughs> yeah, I mean, depending on how much you've played, you might even have more skill points than me, because uh, I, I always played solo. I didn't have many people that, well, I didn't have anyone that played with me. Uh, let's see how many skill points I have. Uh, 8.1 million, so it's really not a lot. You've got 2 million. When did you start playing, Radar? Uh, yeah, sure, I'll split the rewards with you. There you go, have some money. Oh, okay, so I have double your experience put together. <laughs> yeah, wow, 2010, jeez. I forget how many loyalty points it takes to get like tier 4 missions. I don't think I can do tier 4 right now. Uh, I forget how that system works. Yeah, I have no tier th 4 anywhere. Uh, terrorist Fanatics. Sure, that sounds cool. <laughs> um, Alright. Uh, Radar, how far out are you? 
wonder if I could do this in like a smaller ship, make it a little more challenging. If I can remember. <laughs> uh, how far out are you? How many jumps? Okay. That's my carousel and retriever. I have a cormorant, I have a drake, a gnosis, gnosis. What is the gnosis? I forget. Battlecruiser. How far out are these ships? Four jumps. Does this ship even fit at all? Oh. <laughs> and here's my Drake. Uh, Drake's pretty well fit, actually. Heavy missile launcher. I don't think it has any missiles in it, though. Yeah, I do have a lot of ships. <laughs> um, well, I just accepted this mission, so I guess I will do this mission and then maybe go pick up a battle cruiser to make it a little more challenging or something. Just gonna undock. Yeah, maybe I did play for longer than I remember. I mean, I do have 8 million skill points, I guess. But I'm pretty sure there's someone in our corporation who has, like, double that. I forget who. Uh, okay. If you are gonna undock Donnie, um, I'm, we're gonna be warping to... Actually, wait, I think I can do warp fleet too. Uh, you're not in space though, are you still? It might be fast. Warp drive active. I forget, uh, who was the person who was in the massive Eve battle from like years ago. That wasn't one of you, right? I don't think so. Uh, oh, I'm warping to the uh, Ichinumi Stargate. But you can just, I'm just going to jump, and I guess you can just head to me. I'm only one jump away. Uh, Ichinumi. It's a point nine security. All right, let's see if I can find this thing. Active. All right, so that looks like the beacon. Uh, here we go, I can do this. Uh, warp to beacon. Uh, you know, I really hope this isn't actually a beacon. And then I'm 100 kilometers out. That would really suck. Uh... I'll screw it. Warp drive active. <laughs> How long would a uh, hundred kilometers take if you're going at 330 meters per second? Uh. Four 
five minutes. <laughs> All right, let's hope this isn't a beacon. Otherwise, I'm going to be sitting here for five minutes. <laughs> Okay, good. There's enemies here. What? Oh, I'm still finishing warping. <sighs> oh, this ship takes so long to walk. Alright, let's get blasted. What are these ships, anyways? Let's do, how do I do look at? There we go. That looks like it hurt. <laughs> oh, and it's gone, okay. I love these cruise missiles, but these cruise missiles would be really bad against a fast-moving ship. <laughs> so, a swarm of, like, ganking frigates could easily take me down. Unless they're, uh, 100 kilometers away, then maybe not. my mission here anyways. Uh, just destroy all enemies, I guess. Oh, these guys appeared out of nowhere. I don't know what faction these guys are. EOM? Equilibrium of Mankind. Amarian in origin. Oh, okay. Yeah, sure. I'll see you here. Uh, Alright, they're now all within my range. I'm not even gonna move. <laughs> One thing I love about this ship. <laughs> I think I will probably unfit this capacitor power relay, keep the power diagnostic system, and replace another ballistic control system. Why did my DPS drop so much? That's odd. I dropped by like a hundred. Oh, you're just in time. There's more of them spawning. What's your weapon range there, Donnie? <laughs> well, apparently like 87 kilometers or so. Forty-seven. Well, you're still able to hit these guys. It looks like you're hitting that Crusader, right? I guess that's probably just the optimal range, depending on what kind of a missile you have. A module has run out of charges. Some more ships spawned. These are pretty easy, though. Oh, you warped in behind them. How did that happen? I see. That's how you were hitting them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, got it.
Alright, well, I'm gonna shoot the ships that are shooting you then. I mean, they're pretty much all aggroed onto you. So I'm gonna take out that Black Priest ship. I don't really know the difference in them. Right, there's a lot on you. If you can, you could try to get like an afterburner and orbit around them and come over to me. If you're gonna be getting hurt a lot here. All right, I'm gonna shoot at that Crusader. I gotta approach, uh, he's too far away. Actually, no, he's not too far away. I'm already locked. I can hit him. Okay, I'm gonna put my afterburner on and try to get to you quicker. <laughs> Actually, this demon is uh, coming for me. I need to take him out first. Fire. There you go. Kill that Crusader. Looks like I have one ship coming after me, this succubus. Oh, I don't need protecting. They're not even close to me. I haven't taken a single hit. <clears throat> one of them is coming for me, but it's still pretty far away. I'll take it out after this ship. Take care of that crusader near you. The module has run out of charges. A module has run out of charges. Yeah, I'll shoot at the. Oh no, you're. Yeah, I'll shoot at the Crusader that's right near you. I'm 
mesh with these demons. Yeah, how's your shields doing? Oh, some more spawned. Oh, uh... Radar, what's your name? Oh, I think I found you. I just invited you to a fleet. Uh, okay, yeah, you're in. Alright, I'm gonna shoot the... Death Knight. You've got two extenders. Are you cap stable with those? Or would it eventually run out? Oh, nice, you're both here. So what are you in? You're in a cormorant? Nice. <laughs> what does that use? Um, I forget what kind of guns that thing uses, like cannons or uh, railguns? Oh yeah, the railguns, hybrid turrets. one. Nope, nope, shit, more spawn. <laughs> Ugh, I really need to increase my targeting range. What skill would that be? Let me see. Targeting, long range targeting. Eight days. Jeez. Well, sure, why not? see you were talking in the fleet chat, my bad. <laughs> but yeah, that's what I figured. I think this is the last ship. Maybe. A module has run out of charges. A module has run out of charges. You know, anything you guys want to do, you... You two, uh, we could, uh, I don't know if you guys have like harder missions that you could do. Like I said, I didn't really do any security missions or anything um, previously. Why, why can't I reload? Am I out of missiles? Oh my god, I'm out of missiles. I have two Scourge missiles left. 
but yeah, if you guys had like a mission you wanted to do or something, that would be that would be cool. I just gotta go turn this mission in, and then I gotta buy more missiles. I am warping to. Oh, here I'll, I'll warp the fleet. Warp drive active. If you want to dock first, I, I assume you probably want to dock <laughs> and not get destroyed. Oh, there's Fast. We were talking about you. <laughs> uh, hey, Fast, how many skill points did you have in EVE? Wasn't it like 12 or 14 million? Or more? <laughs> Seventy seven million. Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, that's insane. Warp drive active. <laughs> yeah, fast. So I'm just I'm playing with uh, Donnie and Radar from the Corp here. Um, Ugh. Did you ever fly a Titan? I mean, I never did. I was always a solo player. Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. That's pretty crazy. Uh, I only have like 8 million, but I never really played that much to be honest. I mean, I created my character in 2013. Uh, but yeah, I, less play time. I, I, I don't know, I never really played it for like even a year. Alright, complete mission. <laughs> I gotta buy missiles, because I was completely out of missiles. Uh, hold on. I like the Raven, uh, oh, which reminds me, I wanted to, uh, where's the fitting button? That one. I wanted to replace, where is it? Uh, that blizzard's control. I wanted to unfit this. That's why my DPS decreased so much, okay. Normally I'd be at like 555 DPS, but most of my missiles are out. Uh, so I gotta go buy some more. But yeah, I like the Raven. It, I mean, I, my max range is 156 kilometers, although my targeting only goes to 100 kilometers. It's very slow and it's very, very difficult to keep it cap even. I mean, mine, is not cap even at all. Uh, okay. I am gonna go over here. <laughs> Buy some missiles. Wait, those are pretty expensive. That's okay. I have a lot of money. When did you start playing fast? What year?
Ah, okay, so you basically stopped playing a year before I started playing. Were you in, like, one of the big major corporations? Like, one of the goon swarm ones, or... I don't remember the other ones. forgot about these Triglavian invasion things. Music changed. I guess that's because of the invasion. I don't really know how to fight them or find them. Drive active. What was your favorite ship to fly fast? Like, if you were going to be going into a, a PvP battle, I guess. Oh, yeah. I really wanted to use the uh, Abaddon. That was going to be my go-to ship for Echoes. Uh, but then I basically realized that the Midmatar are all Viking-themed. And I was like, well, now I'm playing Midmatar. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Maybe I'll get an Abaddon down the road. But I'll probably try to shoot for a hurricane battle cruiser as soon as possible. All right, missiles, 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 missiles. Uh, station. Okay. Uh, how many do I want to buy? I don't know. A thousand. No, that doesn't seem like enough. Two thousand. I don't really know how much space that is, but whatever. Alright, item hanger. Put that into my ship. <coughs> Can I just sell all this stuff, honestly? Uh, don't I have to move it to the item hanger first? Select all. Sell all. I don't care. Just sell it. All right. Uh, yeah, radar. We can head there. Uh, I'll set my destination for that moon 16 place and yeah I'm assuming it's probably like a level 1 mission and my raven might be a tad overpowered for that but that's fine yeah I, the hurricane looked really cool um, I was uh, doing some null sec ratting with uh, Bojangles and, and, and Eve Echoes and <laughs> we found a, uh, a player doing one of the anomalies there. And I was in the, I don't know if you played the beta, but I was in the Canway prototype, the, uh, the new Chinese ship battlecruiser with the new weapons, disintegrators or whatever they're called. And I mean, those ships have crazy DPS. Uh, I warped within, I was probably like 40 kilometers away from the guy, but Bojangles 
warped within like 20 and he was in a hurricane and the Kanway essentially one shot him uh, but their effective range is like 45 kilometers or so up to 50 and yeah he, he got one shot uh, I think the highest DPS I was able to get with one of those ships was like a thousand and that's a battle cruiser and I mean my current battleship only goes up to like 555 if I recall correctly it also had like 44,000 effective hit points which is uh, my battleship has 45,000 and I mean I have uh, the power diagnostic system and then these large shield extenders what do these rigs do? I think these are just like DPS skill, apparently. It's in my inventory. Are these missiles? Okay. I'm hoping the that faction ship is really difficult to produce. Unlike the beta, they won't just be giving it to, for free to everyone. Well, they better not. That would really break the game. No one would use anything else. Unless they severely nerf it. I hope they do nerf it, either way. Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. Hi, right, um, Radar, I'm here. Oh, I didn't know you weren't docked. I'm not docked. You're at the mission location? Uh, okay. I'm warping to you. fast did you ever do the um, Eve Echoes beta? I mean both Radar and Donnie here both did and of course I did. Ah that sucks. destroyed the ship before I could even lock onto it. Uh, do we have to do anything else? Uh, I'm gonna try to blow this thing up. Well, if you didn't see my message on Discord, the game officially releases on August 13th. So that's fun. 
Oh, apparently I can't destroy this thing. <laughs> Warp drive active. Yes, you. Um, you don't have that long to wait. Fortunately, I would just use this time to refresh your skills if you can. I mean, I, I paid for one month of Alpha, or rather Omega. Just so that I could play around with my Raven. Otherwise, I wouldn't have been able to do anything. Plex that I wanted to sell. I never bought Plex of cash. <laughs> I wanted to see what, it, how it worked. Uh, where do I, where is it? Inventory. Sell Plex for esque. Please dock. Okay. Why am I not docking? Oh, I'm not close enough. Permission requested. Here we go. Docking request accepted. Uh, well, radar, if you want, um, we could just do my level three missions. You'll make more money off of the bounties and me sharing money with you if you want. <laughs> Let's try this cellplex thing. So I just sell it for the average, and that's 568 million. I think that was like ten dollars. Oh, you gotta go. All right, no problem. I guess that was a lot of money. I kind of hope Eve Echoes doesn't let you do that, but I'm sure it will. Uh, it's still, uh, the limiting factor will certainly still be skills. You could have infinite money and still be pretty shit, to be honest. Uh, okay, well, I guess I will just, since I think Donnie is not here, I will try to find a security mission to do. Let's just do a level three here. This one is one jump away. Let's go ahead and do that. stream for like another 30 minutes or so. I don't know. Uh, I think Donnie had to leave to go do something, but he'll be back. <laughs> oh yeah, he was doing laundry. I don't know if he's back yet. And Radar was leaving. That's okay. Alright, I'm 
almost here, then I'll accept the mission. And I could probably do this mission by myself, but I would like it if Donnie was here. requested docking request accepted all right here we are so agent uh which one of these guys was it Let's see I, I guess I'll have to do this one since I already requested it so what is what do I gotta do? Destroy the outpost. Okay. All right, I have one system to warp to, and then I'll be able to do the encounter. Warp drive active. Still by the warp gate. Uh, all right, where is the mission? I'm just gonna do this. Warp drive active. Disable, disable the warp, disable the warp. There it is. Warp two within. Yeah, sure. I'll, I'll force Donnie to come along. How about that? Warp drive active. far away from this warp gate. No? Okay, you know what? I am gonna... Oh, sorry, Donnie. Uh, <laughs> I am gonna warp back to the gate. Warp drive and active. then warp back here, because that'll be much, much quicker. Yeah, Donnie, you're just gonna kind of sit here. Sorry. <laughs> uh...
Alright, here's the gate. Warp drive active. really hope this does not warp me right into the middle of all of them, and it did. Shit. Alright, I need to orbit. Alright, I need to, I need to orbit right. Right now. Get out of range of these guys. Move this camera around a lot, huh? These. What are those? Oh, that was like their ship trajectory. Okay. Let's go back to my ship.
Where is he? Oh, he's really close to me. Yeah, turn away. Should be almost dead. Alright, only four left, and they're all pretty far away. Uh, luckily, that is still my range. You know, I want to change my default orbit distance to 100 kilometers. I, I can turn off the afterburner and these for sure. They're not even hitting me. Isn't this a Kaldari frigate? Much easier when I'm a hundred kilometers away than when I'm ten kilometers away. Jeez, makes so much difference. All right, and last ship. Probably I'm just gonna stop the ship. No, I don't want to try some of this. Controls. Nope, it's not inverted. <laughs> That's kind of nifty. Would be kind of fun doing that in a in a really fast ship. But my ship is slow as balls. Okay. Uh, I think that's the end of the mission. Oh, I have to destroy the outpost. Okay. Where is it? Is that it? Ghost ship. Spaceship wreck. Rock formation. I'm just going to look at the scanner. Here it is. Wait. <laughs> Where is that? Is this, is this it? That's it, okay. Not in targeting range, yeah, I just gotta get closer to it, alright. Forgot why I came here, to be honest. Stop the ship. Let's go back to my ship and fire.
next round, this might be enough to knock it out. One more salvo. if they added this first person camera into EVE Echoes, but it definitely does not exist, uh, it did not exist in the beta when I played it, at least. <laughs> they could probably even do, like, motion controls if they wanted to do that crap. Tilt your phone around. Maybe even put it into, like, VR somehow. <laughs> That'd be cool. I think the orbit camera or the tactical camera is still more powerful. salvage it, but... Yeah, man, he died right next to all these Concord forces. I always like this ship. Just looks like a freaking scorpion. <laughs> Alright, let's head back to dock and finish the mission. He's not back in like 10 minutes. It might just stop. We'll see. Oh, what the hell? What are all these things? Oh, these must be the invading forces. Yeah, there's a bunch of players fighting. Are these all players? No, these are NPCs fighting them. Sure, let's try to blow this thing up. I am gonna orbit, get my afterburner going. That's a player right there. He's in a raven. <laughs> He's in a raven really close to them. The ship's taking a lot of damage, so what is this ship? I have no clue. Thankfully, it's not shooting me. <laughs> All right, and there's only one left, it looks like. I don't really need to orbit that far. I can turn this off. I'm just gonna stop the ship. Actually, let's just approach. Face him. This 
guy's getting pounded. What are all these little ships? These drones. Yeah, these look like these are little drones flying around. It's not shooting? I guess not. Right. Alright, we got it. Docking right. permission requested. Docking now I'm docking. Request accepted. Alright. Finish that mission. Uh, no. I will take this for myself. Standing has increased 0.377. Okay. Let's do one more mission for now. It's not a jump gate, otherwise I'll be a hundred kilometers away. Get a little bit closer, anyways. I guess I'll put my afterburner on, just get there quicker. Might as well. I can't even target them yet, right? Nope.
after all of them. Okay. Let's just take out one at a time, see how tough they are. Yeah, I'm going to end the stream after this encounter. <laughs> Been going for about two hours. Pretty good. Permission requested. All right, well, I'm gonna end the stream now, so uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, I'll probably do it again. I don't know.
sometime, maybe before the game releases. Alright, call that 